welcome to Sting. Stang. Stang. Choctaw's first and only student-run podcast, a show for the students by the students. Here we'll talk about our thoughts on the important events coming up, highlight changes in our current school environment, and share details about our stance on this Rona business. Once again, welcome to Sting. Stang. Stung. I am your host, Garrison Brown. I've been in Choctaw schools since fourth grade and uh, outside of school I really really love me some music I just picked up skateboarding hopefully I don't break any bones anytime soon now Xander what <laughs> give us your <laughs> intro oh uh, I'm Xander I've do I just say the same things you said or yeah oh okay I've been in Choctaw schools since the third grade I think and uh, I've picked up doing nothing so hopefully that sticks. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah. real admirable. That's nice. Um, I mean, yeah. Hi, my name is Roman. I play guitar sometimes. I do skateboards sometimes. Do skateboards. I like that <laughs> phrasing. <laughs> uh, I also play D and D sometimes. Look, it just depends how I feel on like whether or not I actually commit. Most of the time, I'm just either asleep or tired yeah for sure i love me some dnd i've been getting into it a lot more recently doing little one shots with my friends hi i'm izzy hi <laughs> izzy oh, wow. thank you class um uh, i was about to say my name again <laughs> um i like film i'm taking two film classes right now i'm the most experienced student in the KJI class. Oh, wow. are you? So that's I not, that not boastful at all. I wear that title proudly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, if you can't tell, Izzy is our most humble student mm-hmm. in the class, yeah. too. Uh-huh. I'm also the funniest, so. Oh, that sure. is just okay. not true. <laughs> yeah, see, I see shots coming my way. All right, with our introductions out of the way and the beginning of a new year looming over our heads, what are your thoughts on 2021 so far? Terrible. Absolutely <laughs> terrible. Why is it terrible for you? Didn't they storm the Capitol like, like literally a few days ago? <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, that's just in America, though. <laughs> okay. I mean, like that's, that's fair, I guess. I mean, <laughs> yeah, we're like just a bit over a week, and yeah. America has already gone into some form of turmoil. Yep. It's like, uh, I feel like that's how it of, always is. Yeah. Celebrity drama going on. Such yeah. as? Uh, oh, the, the there's Jeffree the Star. couple from High School Musical... Oh, that girl that. released a song that no, was I haven't literally... heard about this. What is this? Well, of course, because you guys aren't as popular as I am. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. Okay, Mrs. Student Council. Yeah. Well, tell me, okay. tell so me about let, the celebrity drama. Let me drama. tell you the tea. So uh, there's this uh, artist, Olivia Rodrigo? Rodriguez? Something. I don't remember her last name. Uh, but she was in High School Musical with this guy named Joshua Bassett, and they were the leads. They were the leads. They were a couple, and everyone thought they were dating. And then he was dating Sabrina Carpenter. And to retaliate, Olivia wrote a song literally about him two days ago, and it's like one on the number one charts. Like, everyone is talking about it. Wow. Can't wait till I hear that on the radio on the way home. It is. It's called Driver's License. It's a really, really good song. I don't have one of those yet. Yeah. Can you see how much I care about that on my face? Okay. Well, right listen now. to the song and then get some judgment. Okay. Okay. I'll listen to it later. You go ahead. Yeah. Oh, I don't know any celebrity drama or anything. <laughs> I thought you were going to comment on oh, no. Izzy situation. Oh, I don't know anything about anybody she said. I don't know it. Any of that. Look You've never it seen High School it's Musical? It's juicy, juicy, I've seen the first juicy one. drama. It the was, first one. It was bad. I've never no, seen... it's the series. It's the remake. Oh, the TV show. I never watched it. There's a TV show? Okay. There's yeah. <laughs> I'm just learning all of this right now. This is embarrassing. <laughs> I don't know High School Musical. All I know is bad on it. I'm not a, I'm not a Disney person. No, really? No, it's Cartoon Network. Why not? <laughs> Cartoon Network over Disney. Always. I mean, <laughs> Disney XD, because, you know, that's the oh, boy channel. channel. I mean, that, that's... Yeah. Kicking yeah. it. Uh, Lab Rats, man. Oh, yeah. Kick yeah. Potowski. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh, that's bro. some good stuff. Oh, now I'm old. How has the beginning of 2021 been for you, Roman? How has the beginning of 2021 been for me? Uh... Honestly, nothing too interesting has really happened uh, in my world. Yeah, because I haven't picked up any new hobbies at the beginning of the year. I mean, the only hobby I've picked up in the last month was skateboarding, but that was on Christmas. Uh, honestly, like, I just blinked. There's really just 
not a whole lot going on. I've played D and D once. <laughs> yeah. So your life is really uninteresting. Is no, what you're it's, it, there's, no, there's nothing interesting in my life at all. Okay. Well, yikes. That's fair. Okay. Well, apart from your celebrity drama that oh, you seem very invested drama. into, yeah, your, um, your actual life, what's been going on? My actual life, not much really. Um, I'm just working on different things. I'm in this podcast. I'm mm-hmm. in the Iguana Talk podcast that's coming up soon. Mm-hmm. Go take a listen. It's at EOC Tech. Um, we are currently working on making a music video. So <laughs> that's nice. exciting. For what? Just for fun. And just for, anything? For what just song? to learn how to make a music video. What's the song? We don't know yet. Oh. We're like picking like, you know, the online ones that you can just get for free. Oh, uh, yeah, it's royalty free yeah, music. Yeah, yeah. yeah we my love favorite. Our royalty free we music in this class. Music, yeah. It's all very weird. Yeah. And no substance. My 2021 has been fine so far, I guess. Nothing really new apart from falling every day because of skateboarding. That one's really fun. <laughs> That's pretty much all I have been doing. Well, that out of the way, what do you think of this school year so far? Because I know we've had many, many ups and downs from constantly going in person to going online and just both of those flipping every week. We don't know what's going to happen. How do you feel about that? Dog water. Dog water. (laughs) Absolute dog water. (laughs) So free. Yeah. I don't... Honestly, like, I think I prefer in school, just for me mentally, Mm -hmm. but online, I just find it so much better because, like, most of the time I really hate interacting with people. Yeah. (laughs) Because it's just, you know, so having that online thing, it's like I get to finish my work in three hours and then just sleep. But with physical school, I actually get the social interaction, which could be good, could be bad. Like, you know, it's... It's really a flip of the coin every yeah, day. Yeah, no, you flip the coin, who knows? It's like, one day you could run into Xander and have a great day, but one day you could run into Izzy, and it could be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because she's yeah. making fun of you the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I definitely concur with your statements. It's been very strange. I don't really know how I feel about it either way. I know that... <sighs> I I love my social interaction. It's great. And I love seeing you guys and coming to class, but also I hate it dearly because I just despise other people just in, in my core. That's why I absolutely love wearing masks Mm. just so other people can't see my facial expressions. I'm sorry, but Gen Z has to be the best people at wearing masks right now because we all are insecure deeply yeah. you know yeah. and just like you can literally make any face under your mask and no one can see it see i'm kind of scared for when it is they take them away especially like at i, I work at target and mm. i just know I, I i don't consciously make the faces but i know that underneath the mask i'm making yep. the weirdest faces possible while yep. i'm working just sticking my tongue out blowing raspberries into my mask and <laughs> i know that when they take those away, if they take those away, it's going to be a very strange transition yes. for me to and get back to normal. if you have a job or if you're at school, you could literally keep your face, your mouth, and your facial expression neutral. You just got to give happy eyes. Just, like, open your eyes a little bit. Boom. People think you're in a good mood. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, right now, I'm making a neutral face, right? And now I'm... Okay, well, the viewers can't see that. Well, so I, your yeah, example is, from saying, my point of view, you look like you're about to kill I was Xander. saying, look right now in the room. Mm-hmm. I'm okay. just saying, it's a hack, so and it's great. For and those also, at home, Izzy is currently making a neutral face, looking directly at anymore. Xander. She looks extremely unhappy now. Oh, she's transitioning. <laughs> Izzy, you brought a weapon to school. What? Izzy, what is wrong <laughs> with you? Yeah, you all are dead. This is my podcast Izzy, now. back up. Get, nope. close, <laughs> get me too close. <laughs> Uh, yeah, masks are great. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah, not gonna lie, I really like them. So, what is your school schedule? You're at the EOC in the morning, and then yes. you come here, and then I'm here, and I also go to student council. How is EOC handling the Rona as opposed to how Choctaw is? Ooh. Uh, pretty well. I would say the best thing about EOC is people wear them in the hallways. You know, mm-hmm. if you're watching this right now and you take yours off in the hallway, if you're not eating or drinking, please put it on. Please put it on. 
Uh, but yeah, pretty well, I would say. Even for, you know, classes like digital media where we have to go and film something and we want to film it without our mask, mm -hmm. we do it safely. Yeah. Right? You know, even voiceovers, kind of like what we're doing right now, you just spread out, take them off, put them back on when you need to, that kind of thing. So. Yeah. How have you two, Xander and Roman, how have you noticed the student reception to masks and, you know, keeping them on? Yeah, uh, I've definitely noticed that the hallways are definitely like a lot of kids don't have them on. Mm -hmm. and Is it they fully don't have them on or they just pull them down? Right. Yeah, like right. there's like some kids that like have them like uh, under their nose. Some have it like on their chin, like they're wearing a chin guard. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of them just don't have it on. Yeah. And I it sucks, especially when you're trying no to go to your second hour class, but they're just all clumped into one space and you have to walk around the building to get to your class. I actually had to do that the other day. And now yeah. you're a freshman and you're a freshman. You're both freshmen. That's I did not so know that. I thought you were a sophomore, really. Oh, well, So thank we have you. two freshmen and two seniors on this podcast. Wow, look at us. That, that shows we're the cool ones, huh? <laughs> yeah. And I would not pay any money in the world to go back. I would not be paid any money. To go back to freshman year. Yeah, I definitely couldn't. not. Sorry. That was a horrible experience. <laughs> How How's you your freshman year it? going so far, by the way? <laughs> all good things, all good things. Uh, honestly, first semester, all honors classes sucked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this semester, definitely a lot more laid back. It's only been a week, but I'm, I'm, I'm chilling with it. Yeah, what, what is your schedule? Are you here all day? Uh, I'm just here all day. Okay. okay. You Same for you? Yeah. Yeah, see, I'm online for my first two classes and yeah. then I come here at 11 and it is oh it's, it's the best thing in the world <laughs> man I get to sleep in and then just come here and yep. do this yeah. and it's wonderful I think that's interesting is that like freshman year you think that you're gonna be at the high school all day every day you know from like six to two but by senior year like if you get all your credits done you just kind of get to like take fun classes yeah not if you don't you may not even have a class like, I technically don't ask student council, mm -hmm. but I go because I don't want everyone else to go. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's really cool. Like, it sucks freshman year, but by senior year, it's fun. High mm -hmm. school is not as terrible. Very true. And it it definitely does go by a lot faster yes. than everyone seems I'm to terrified. think. I'm terrified. It's crazy, man. <laughs> Do you know where you're going to school? Uh, UCO, hopefully. UCO. Yeah. Very nice. Very Cross nice. my fingers. <laughs> Alrighty, well, with all of that out of the way, introductions done, little bit of chitter chatter, I think it is time to introduce a little segment I like to call the Hornet's Nest. Now, I'm sure Roman, Sander, Izzy, everyone else sitting quietly around me, you're thinking to yourself, what is the Hornet's Nest? What is this new incredible idea that Garrison <laughs> oh, has gee, come up I with? Oh, gee, I have no idea. What is the Hornet's Nest? Would you, like, hornet's to nest, I would you like to know? I would love to know what the Hornet's Nest is, Garrison. What's this great idea? Okay, this great idea consists of us as a group going and kidnapping another student from a class and bringing them onto the podcast with us. Is that not a good word to use, kidnapping? We're going to do it anyway. All okay. right. Yeah. Thank you for treat. All righty. Well, with surprise that, adoption. Yeah. Surprise adoption. And uh, we're going to grill them, ask them some questions. We'll keep it simple for the first episode and just talk about some podcast related things. But with that, we will be back. Hello. And we are back with Sting. Stang. Stang. And we have just stolen someone from a classroom. Could you please tell us your name, how long you have been in the Choctaw School District, and something that interests you? Um, hello, yes. My name is Ben Bryant. I have been in the Choctaw School District ever since preschool. Um, something that interests me is probably the fine arts, such as visual or performing arts. I was involved in the drama program since freshman year, but sadly, my junior year presently, I have not been able to attend those classes. But I hope to be back my senior year. Very nice. Rejoining. I like it. That's awesome. All righty. So this is the Hornet's Nest. We are going to grill you with some, some hard-hitting questions, like okay? Are you ready for this? Okay. The big you. one. This one is a shocker, okay? This is going right. to hurt you. Okay. Do you listen to podcasts? <laughs> yes, actually, I do. Really? Mm -hmm. What podcasts do you listen to? List them off for us. Um. Okay. <clears throat> Two that my girlfriend introduced me to are King Falls AM and Welcome to Night Vale. They're like these kind of... 
supernatural narrative driven podcast that kind of tell a bit of a story king falls am is more of like a story driven and it, like a continual narrative welcome to night vale is kind of just all over the place both of them are really fun to listen to and they kind of help you stimulate you creatively so you can like think about stuff whenever you're working on something like a paper or a piece of art or something like that i just like listening to them because it's always very entertaining and it gets you thinking about all sorts of things yeah for sure so that that is why you like it because it stimulates you creatively yes. and helps you out okay very cool um what do you, you, you kind of already answered this, but what do you specifically look for in a podcast, whether it's the two that you were describing or if you were going to try out a new one and uh, look for something else to listen to? Um, I would either want to listen to something that kind of tells a story that I can invest in, but don't have to like commit too much time to like sitting down or reading. You can do things while you listen to a podcast, and that's probably why they've been rising in popularity lately. But aside from that, I really just like hearing people talk about what they're passionate about because hearing people talk about their passions it kind of generates a community and even if you're not familiar with it you kind of feel more involved and maybe it causes you to try out new things yeah for sure dang that is very cool really so <laughs> no, I have no idea yeah you, you sound like you have practiced this was a completely random encounter we <laughs> definitely just stole him um Okay, so you are more inclined to listen to story-driven podcasts than podcasts like this, where it's just a bunch of people talking. Is that what you're saying? Or um, Usually, but I do really like these kinds of podcasts because sometimes it just feels like I can... It almost feels like I'm a part of the conversation, in which this case I am a part of the conversation. <laughs> yeah. But it's nice being able to hear people talking because then it just kind of makes you feel included in something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. I gotta say, it makes you feel less lonely. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I really like that. That is why podcasts, like, they appeal so much to our generation That's specifically true. because That's true. because we are all lonely. <laughs> yeah, and we exactly. Needed something with the whole like quarantine thing that happened months ago. That listening to podcasts has definitely like got more popular around that time because it's like, hey, you feel like you're talking. For sure. I mean, these True. streaming services, video games, podcasts. I mean, everything just completely skyrocketed when quarantine yeah. hit. Um, everything that's on the online space. Yeah. All right. Uh, how do you think that we could streamline the connection between this show and the students? Or what are some ways that we could reach a variety of students here at Choctaw? Because obviously we don't expect to have a plethora of listeners after this first episode, but how do you think we could better reach the students of Choctaw with this platform? I feel like since we are now like adopting podcasts as an approach, I feel like that is kind of in conjunction with the rise of like social media and using it for different things as a whole. So I feel like utilizing social networking and things of that kind of like kind of put it out there and make it more accessible because nowadays people are going to be spending more time online, especially for those who are still continuing with online classes. Mm -hmm. So I feel like by pushing a social networking campaign, you would allow more people to have access to that and also just here throughout the school, really trying to push that message that we've kind of discussed with podcasts is like, we're all here, we can all sit down and have a discussion. Even if you aren't immediately a part of it, we want you to feel included in something. We want you to know that you're a part of this community. Yeah, of course. Hmm. Very interesting. <laughs> uh, you have some some very very good answers. I appreciate it. it I nice. always sound like I'm <laughs> yeah, like... yeah, of course. So let's just say you you weren't here okay. right now. We weren't talking and having this active discussion. Um, if you saw you say you're scrolling through Instagram or Snapchat and you saw that one of your classmates is hosting a podcast, would you be more inclined to listen to it because they are? Uh, one of your peers or would you be less inclined to listen to it because of that fact um usually it depends on who the peer is but mm. if i were to hear that someone in my school was trying to start a podcast about it i would feel like okay i know this person i like podcasts i might as well give it a listen because it may give me a chance to better understand my community and those around me mm. so if you don't like the person you're not going to their podcast well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, okay. yeah. yeah. So get likable people yeah. is, I mean, is what I I'm hearing. Like I'm not people. trying to say that there's like any, st <laughs> I don't have any specific person in mind, but like if I saw someone right. like normally and they were like, hey, I'm starting up a podcast and I was like, hey, I know you, I'll listen to it. 
I mean, I'm likable, so. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. As we've discussed, Izzy is the yeah. most mm -hmm. popular and non-egotistical person yeah, that we have in this most class. Most humble. What are your thoughts on Izzy as a person, Ben? <laughs> let's, let's really get down to the bottom let's of this. Let's veer away from that subject. No, I, I think, I think no, we should I, I lean into important. that. Oh Some, uh... <laughs> some social interaction with Izzy. Let's uh, change this from grilling the other person and bring someone in to grill Izzy and ask her That's a bunch of not. questions. <laughs> ben, what is your first question for Izzy right now? Okay. Um, so it's okay. Funny. You can take your time. Okay, good. I'm never good at like asking the questions, but whatever questions <laughs> yeah. being asked, really I'm just like hit me. Them, but... um, so currently, Ben is staring at the ceiling. Yes. His eyes are now darting. I appreciate the play-by-play. -play. Okay, um, very confused. What is your favorite program to be involved with at Choctaw High School? Ooh, very good question. Honestly, this one. This is a fun <clears throat> class, you guys. I like student council, but like, I don't know. There's just so much to do, and there's so many cool people, and new people come in like every semester, and new people like come in and try different ideas. And if you had told me last semester that we were doing a podcast, I would have been like, yeah, right. <laughs> and now yeah. we're doing one because new people came to the class. And, yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, it is very exciting. Thank you. Are you two, Xander and Roman, are you looking to join any programs while you're here? Because I know that you are in drama and you're also in this class. Are you interested in joining anything, Xander? Um, actually, me and Roma are trying to start something next year, um, like an like eSports. Yeah. An eSports thing. Yeah. That's oh. cool. We already, we already have a sponsor. We just need somebody like to yeah. okay yeah. it. Really? Are you wow. like able to tell us your sponsor? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not yet. At the moment, it's still getting... Yeah. Like, there's still a lot of behind the scenes to do right yeah. now. So That's exciting. Dude, That's that is exciting. super Dude. cool. I like when people just make up clubs just because for fun. Like, that's so cool. Yeah. yeah. Wait, are you, like, starting a club here at the school? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, like a child. Oh, really cool. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know. I thought it was, like, a personal thing that they were doing school. together. Oh, that's yeah. super cool. No. <laughs> yeah. Man, see, I wish that we would have had something like that. Same. Well, we still had time. But <laughs> yeah, th that is seniors. really awesome. So are you, like, wanting to start tournaments, like, within the school and other um, schools? Or... Actually, if we if, if if we get this okay, we're trying to go to other schools and ask mm -hmm. them if they want to start this also, so we can wow. get a whole bunch of people and then start wow. doing tournaments like that. Yeah, yeah. very cool. cool. Ben, if you heard that your school was coming out with an esports <laughs> league, would you like to join? Why or why not? Um, aside from the fact that I'm mediocre at best at playing video games, <laughs> I would probably be very interested in joining. I feel like it's fascinating in trying to start those new clubs that aren't as common in like schools across the United States. I feel like that really elevates that sense of individuality that needs to be encouraged in a high school setting. Yeah, for sure. What are what are some clubs that you wish that we had? If it's just one, something that you are interested in that the school doesn't provide that you would like to see here? Um, I'm not the biggest film buff ever, but I feel like if there were to be one that's encouraged, I'd say maybe some kind of like cinema-related club to where people could talk about like varying films or things of that kind. Don't we have a film club? No. I thought Alvin was talking about uh, no. well, us yeah. having a film club. We, we have might. This class. I don't know. We do have this class. That's yeah. true. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thank you very much for your time. You can skedaddle on back to class. Okay, we appreciate you, you Ben. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye. <clears throat> what an bye, 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 Ben. <laughs> what an interesting experience that was. He's a very good speaker. I was Real. very surprised. Yeah, no, he's great. All right. Well, let's. Uh, Let's talk about what we think about Ben real quick. How was that experience? Did you guys enjoy that? Cool. He he was great. Some really good like answers. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah really, no, he's I a did, very. I had to think about it. It's like whoa. He's a very well spoken person. Yeah, walked in a random class and we said, "Hey, can we borrow a student who wants to be in a podcast?" And like a couple hands went up weirdly. And then Ben was like, "I would like to go." To the <laughs> yeah, he was very <laughs> right, very ben. demanding. They were, uh, you're confident that you're going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. All righty. Well, I think with that, we are going to wrap up the first episode of Sting Stang Stung. Thank you very much for listening, and we will hopefully see you in the weeks to come. Goodbye from the people at Sting Stang Stung. <laughs>